guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my nighttime routine, which I haven't done one of these nighttime routine videos in probably over a year because I do a lot of my morning routines, but not my nighttime routine. So I just got home from a meeting. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. I have to wash my hair because my hair is dirty. It's been like a week, pretty much. I wash it once a week, about. So it's been like a week, I need to wash my hair and do like a little face mask moment. I have some work to catch up on, so then I'm gonna sit on my couch, watch a show, maybe. I don't know. I usually like to have something playing in the background while I work on my laptop. So I'm gonna make my environment a little bit comfortable by sitting on my couch, which I'll do sometimes in the evening. So I'll sit on my couch, do my work. I have to like edit a video or like fix an edit on a video before it goes live, pretty much. I just heard back from the brand. I have to like fix something and then resend it in before it goes live. So I have to do that before the end of the night. I have to wash my hair, which is a whole process you're about to see because I have a lot of hair. It's long, it's thick, it just takes forever to style. I'm gonna do a face mask. That's kind of my plan for this nighttime routine. So first things first is I'm gonna chug some water. Normally I would cook something, but I just don't have time to cook right now. Like it's 8.30. I'd rather be in the shower, like starting my hair routine. I have this like, miso soup from Trader Joe's that I've really been enjoying. So I think I'm just gonna warm up a little bit of this and then, then we're gonna hop in the shower. There was this TikTok ad that literally got me. It was this moving ball that I sent to Lyle and he also agreed. He's like, we should get this for prints. And it was actually rolling all around. I think I totally just got ripped off because this is barely moving, but it's enough to keep prints entertained. By the way, I have to get, I have to put, um, put away my Christmas tree, but I'm like waiting off on that for as long as I can. Okay, now it's moving, you see? Okay, so it like moves like that. Prince plays with it like maybe 50% of the time. Sometimes I feel like he's too smart for this ball. And then other times when he has like too much energy, he totally like messes around with it. And his bones, he's like hiding them all over the house. He always does that. He hides them in like those little cracks in the couch. Like there's so many bones in there. By the way, I just got these in the mail. They're gifting from Alpha H and then Shani Darden. Darden is I think how you say it. Hopefully I'm not mispronouncing that. But I'm so excited to try these out. I have them here in my bathroom so that I can put them away and give them a try. I don't know if I'm, I mean, honestly, honest, no. I wanna do like a sheet mask. I was gonna say, I wanna do this. Maybe I'll do this in like a couple days. This looks amazing. I was reading, um, it's like a celebrity like facial situation that you can do at home pretty much. And it tells you how to use it. It's like a two-step process. You use this and then you put on this um, clay neutralizing mask. This is like step one, it's a triple acid exfoliating peel solution and then you follow up with the clay mask. I'm so excited to try it out. Also, I love Alpha H, I love all their products and I've used their like exfoliating, I don't know what it is. Let's see, Prince's Bones, I'm telling you, he hides them everywhere. Oh yeah, I have this, which I love, the Beauty Sleep Power Peel. I also have, this is really good. I think this is the Liquid Gold Midnight Reboot Serum. This one's also really good. But Alpha H just has like a lot of exfoliating products. So I'm really excited to try these out, especially this Daily Resurfacing Essence. And then, oh, this is the same one I have. And then this is the Liquid Gold with glycolic acid. So yeah. That's what came in the mail. A little skincare unboxing for you guys. Thank you so much to these brands for sending these products.
but I find something quite as right as this. Not even late at night, in my wildest dreams, and I can feel the rock changing all around me. I just wish they also feel all this energy. Look in my eyes, what do you see? Feel like we're all. Look in my eyes, what do you see? You're the only thing I need Just got out of the shower, I'm going to apply my deodorant I've been using the native deodorant Religiously ever since I worked with them And it's like the only deodorant I'll buy for myself and Lyle It just works so good, it's all natural, it's paraben free The scents are the best scents I've ever smelled on the deodorant and it's also aluminum free so it's just a really good alternative to your traditional deodorants that have a bunch of junk in there I feel like I have some eye makeup on still I use my little foot I don't know what this is called it's clean by the way I clean it really well after it's like really easy to take it off because your skin is soft after the shower so you can get rid of all that dead skin on the bottom of your feet also because I live somewhere where I'm wearing sandals and open toe shoes like pretty much every day so I have like an eyelash or something. So for me, it's really important that the bottom of my feet look nice, you know? So I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. Now I'm going to lotion my body. I've been using this U Beauty Super Body Hydrator. Really like this product because it's not really, it's like a super light scent, but it kind of smells unscented. But it's just, the ingredients are really good and it just feels, it's the most unique consistency I've ever felt in a body lotion. Never felt anything like this. It looks kind of like watery and milky, and it's super hydrating. It leaves my skin amazing. I'm going to also apply some of this Byredo Blanche perfume. It smells like, I love this scent. It smells like fresh, Clean sheets. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. It smells so good. I'm going to apply this face mask and then I'm going to have some tea while I wait. Depuffing Energy Facial Mask. Or should I do, probably do this Paracone one because this I feel like is more of a daytime mask. It's the 111 or 111 Skin Depuffing Energy Facial Mask. I feel like it's more daytime, but the Paracone Cold Plasma Plus, which is one of my favorite skincare lines like a subdivision of their brand the cold plasma plus is so good like the moisturizer all of it's really really good this is the uh, concentrated treatment sheet mask so i think i'm gonna use this one i also wanted to use white strips i just ordered these ones should i drink tea first and then do the white strips right because you're not supposed to drink or you can talk drink and even exercise well i'm not gonna exercise while wearing these but i might drink my tea my nails are chipping so bad. Ignore them, please. I need to go get them done. I just got them done last week, but I don't know what. By the way, I'm going to talk so weird until I take these out. I like how the crest ones work, but I find that they're really a pain in the butt to put on because they just slip off your teeth. I also leave on masks. Honestly, I don't keep track of the time on these. It says 20 minutes, but whatever so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make tea i'm gonna have my mask on wipe my teeth while i do work on the couch drink my tea finish my whoa there's a lot of liquid in here do you see that or product i should say oh this is gonna be messy hold up i love that this sheet mask is um two pieces that's amazing so brilliant because otherwise they're so hard to put on i feel like this is literally going into my scalp so that's annoying why is this sheet mask so 
big. It's like going into my hair. I need to fold this over. Hold on. A mess. Okay. You always let me know. You never let it show my glowy my skin looks i'm not gonna apply any um skincare normally i would apply my nighttime skincare but i don't think i'm gonna apply any except maybe like lip balm because i already have so much product on my skin i'm just gonna bring some of that down my neck oh my skin feels so good from that mask i love it I have to get more of those. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of sheet masks because they're not the best for the environment, I don't really use them too often at all, maybe a few times a year. Um, usually I'll just do like a face mask from like a jar, you know what I mean? So this mask was so good. Wow, there's more product on it. I wanna like use it all. Just apply some lip balm and then I'm gonna do my hair. I'm using the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Primer and then the Davines All-in-One Milk. What is going on right now? So I spray that throughout my hair, protect it from the heat, detangle it, etc. etc. I've been using this Invisible Oil Primer for years, like ever since I lived in New York. Because I used to go to Bumble and Bumble, it was like my go-to salon in New York and I got hooked on this. To detangle my hair, I love the, it's the Tingle Teaser. It's just very gentle on your hair when it's wet and just helps detangle so nicely. This is my favorite brush to use. I think it's the water in the shower here and my hair gets pretty tangled. It's actually starting to dry because I had it in that towel for so long while I was doing my whole face moment and my teeth. I'm about to go to bed so it's not going to look like this when I wake up but it's just gonna be like nicely done if that makes sense like once I do my hair um, I don't usually do it until I shower the next time that way I don't apply too much heat to my hair but I love the way this looks it gives a nice blowout I'm going to bed anyways so <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter but like I said it's gonna be ready to go it's gonna look nice when i wake up the next day you know what i mean so i won't have to do really anything to it i'm still finishing up my tea and also i always always vacuum after i do my hair because there's always hair on the floor like always and i hate it like moving around the apartment so i always vacuum after i do my hair which i'm about to do i just changed into my pjs and I'm getting ready for bed and Princey is here with me as my little munchkin. I also always have a fresh water next to my bed because I wake up parched, I go to sleep feeling parched and sometimes I might wake up in the middle of the night parched. <laughs> I don't know, I just like drinking water 
and there's moments where i'm like every morning it's like a habit to drink a whole cup of water but i was like having some next to me when i'm sleeping i've also built the habit of journaling every morning and night i keep it next to my bed that way i'm consistent and i can end my day and start my day on a good note so i journal every morning and night i'll link this journal down below it's one of my favorites and you know journaling is not supposed to be perfect you know meaning you can do it for 30 seconds you could do it for 30 minutes whatever feels right to you just put everything down on paper whether it's you know how your day was what you're grateful for or you know if you're journaling in the morning how you like what you want to achieve today emotionally mentally spiritually physically um your thoughts your energy level whatever feels right to you write that down um and you know ever since i started doing this a while back my life just everything just feels way different everything is aligning way differently um if you i talk more about this in my morning routine so if you're interested no no pen on the bed sheets please if you're interested in learning more about my manifestation journaling routine stuff i dive deeper into it in my morning routine so i'm going to spend a few minutes and there's a really nice quote in here it says start each day with a positive thought and a grateful heart and then there's another quote that says be loud about the things that are important to you every page has like two different quotes it's really nice so i already journaled this morning so now we're in the evening portion i think i'm gonna spend maybe like 10 or 15 minutes listening to this podcast that i was listening to earlier it's so good and i keep wanting to listen more to it and finish it so I'm gonna listen to maybe about 15 minutes, but this was so good. Um, it's Jay Shetty with Sean Stevenson. And then I'm going to go to bed. But I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this evening nighttime routine. Um, let me know if you want me to do more of these videos. And if you are not yet subscribed, make sure you join the family and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Mwah. Biggest hug and kiss to you. Good night.